Agency of Reach Customs and Border Protection. It's still in the proposal stages. Right, and in the proposal, it's not going to ban um, sales between states or anything, is it? It's no, only the ban no, on no, importation. No. Right, but they're going to ban the, the certain types of pocket knives from being imported. Is okay, it the well, so far, nothing is a proposal still. So it's not going to change any proposal. of the laws in between the states for sales or anything like that? No, no, sir. I don't think it's, it's going to be a problem. You don't think the proposal is going to pass? Mm, I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. American Knife and Tool Institute and Knife Rights. Did they lie to you? Or did they just not tell the whole truth? Before you jump the bandwagon about the ban of knives into the U.S., did you ever stop to think who it would really affect? If you were naive to buy into the fact that if the federal government banned an importation of assisted knives into the U.S., that you would lose the rights that you have in your state, then you're just an ignorant, deceived American because you really don't know your history and you don't understand that we have state sovereignty and that there is no governmental policy that governs what's inside the state. It would be the state to determine what the laws are inside set a state. So, if you live in a pussy liberal state, then perhaps maybe they would modify the laws because of what customs deems is illegal to import. But, if you live in a state that's avid against such policies, such as, oh, I don't know, Texas, I don't know, Kentucky, let's see, Florida, maybe some of the states that are avid against the First Amendment, and the right to bear arms, and not the tree-hugger, little sissy, fairy, liberal pussy states. And if you live in one of those states, maybe you should get off of your ass and go vote. But that's another subject. Let's get back to the knives. So, the federal policy of banning importation, not going to affect the state laws at all. It might, because if you vote in your liberal pussies, but that's about it. State level, different than federal level. Now back to who it would be affected greatly in this industry. Who would be greatly affected if the importation of such items were prohibited? Oh, I don't know. Maybe uh, most of the knife industry? Let's see. That would be a bench made with all its red class that they import all the time, all day long. I don't know. Maybe Taylor Cutlery with the charade Smith & Wesson. I don't know, Columbia River Knife and Tool? I don't know, Kershaw? Let's see, we can just keep going down the list of who does not make anything in the U.S. anymore. The majority of all of those companies manufacture outside of the U.S., in China, and Taiwan. And if you think Taiwan's a different place in China, maybe you should stop, think... Go to the UN and see if they have somebody in the UN because they don't. They're a province of China. Regardless of such crazy semantics, importation ruined, ruined all of the U.S. knife manufacturers. Can you name how many knife manufacturers actually produce stuff in this country anymore? Where's Camelus? Anybody? Where, where's Camelus? Wasn't Camelus a very distinctive American company from... The 1800s? Where'd it go? Let's see, how about uh, United Cutlery, who pretty much manufactured for uh, most people in this country. Uh, uh, are they around anymore, people? No, no, n not at all. Probably, what, like 12 manufacturing plants? Da done. Ixnade. No more. Nothing going on in the U.S. anymore. Right? All those people that had jobs there are now unemployed. They're joining the ranks of the unemployed. Thanks to who? Thanks to people who import crap into this country. Oh, now, of course, I'm going to get some other semantic nut job saying that, oh, well, you sell this shit. Well, yeah, you know, because I have to make a living, I sell things that are legally here. You know, that's how it works. I don't import. I'm not an importer. I sell things. That's it. I would rather sell things that are made in this country, but there's nothing to sell. There's nothing to sell. So how can I sell things that there aren't anything to sell? Does that make any logical sense to any of you nuts? It doesn't, because then you wouldn't attack me on that level. So, the fundamental principle is, maybe customs should damn well stop 
the importation of all knives. Not just that, of all knives. And not on the principle that it's a knife, on the principle of where it came from. Because it ruined the American industry altogether. Nobody, nobody designs anything here anymore because it gets ripped off. You design something, ripped off in China. Guaranteed, just the way it is. What, but you design something, then you get it made in China, then it gets ripped off, and then you somewhat kind of make some money just here in the U.S. because they ransack the rest of the planet. But you don't really conceptualize that problem because there's, what, 300 million people in America? How many other people on the rest of the planet, morons? But, you know, that's just how it is. It, people are going to use your ignorance against you. And that's just the best way to screw you. And that's what they did to you. That's exactly what they did to you. Because all of the board members of the AKTI are who? Who are they? Why don't you do some research and look and see why they wanted to support this? Why they raised such a big stink? Yes, I agree that the fundamental principles of banning that on the basis that it was a knife could lead into repercussions of state policies restricting such things because you vote in your liberal pussy fruitcakes. But just maybe, just maybe your balls would drop and maybe you'd go vote and these things wouldn't happen. But I don't know. That's probably a pipe dream. So, so you know what? The customs agents are complete morons as well, but morons sometimes need guidance and help. So, these customs idiots who made this proposal, why don't you go back, rewrite this proposal, don't ban the importation of it just being a knife. Not just because it's a knife, or a particular knife, or a particular design. Why don't you just ban it altogether because you want to protect American jobs, American manufacturing, and bring back some industry into this country that they've destroyed. Maybe then you will get support from the American public to stop it and then your problem would be solved because you would get the same result that you're trying to achieve but you did it in a means that made much more logical sense. Then to the rest of you Americans who some way, some form or fashion don't use your goddamn brain maybe you should start using it and then call some of the real knife makers in this country by name. Maybe what maybe go out there, research, do some of the, you know, custom made guys. Did they support this act? Question. Come on. Go call them, ask them. Did they support it? Maybe they see the reason why they should stop the importation because America, we are made in China. You know, that's it. We're done. American freedom is now made in China. And then, the only person to blame is all of you pussies who don't go vote and don't go do anything except for bitch, whine, and complain. And then when there's nothing left, you will be the one to blame. Because every time that you point a finger, don't forget, there's always three pointing right back at you. If you don't know your rights, you don't have any. You only have the rights that you are willing to fight for. But the sad truth is, is even when you calm down, the whole thing is bullshit. Because even if they ban anything, if they ban anything coming into this country from China, it's going to get here anyway. You know why? Because the Chinese own the port. They own Long Beach Port, moron. That's right. You can't stop something. You can't. Customs can go in, but who owns the port? Did you ever do your research, people? You didn't. Who owns the port in California, Long Beach? It's the Chinese. So there's no way in living hell that you're going to stop that stuff from coming in because it's going to be in too vast of a number. Every day, so many products coming in. And do you honestly think that the Chinese aren't sneaky? Where do you have this concept that the Chinese aren't sneaky? Have you ever been to Chinatown, people? I could take you to New York City, take you into Chinatown, and those people will claim that they don't speak English. And then when you drop, walk out of the store, right, that you're not going to make that sale, right at that verge of when the sale is going to be lost, they'll speak to you in better English than you've spoke to to anybody else on the street. 
They're not dumb, but they sure as hell know who is. Could that be you?